So, um, there was something I was going to say. What was it? it? It was right on the top of my head. Something about three, maybe three. No, no, no. What was it? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that, that's right. It was nothing terribly important. Just the fact that, you know, 300 subscribers. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh boy, it, it, it's, I don't know, it just, it was some time last year that that goal was set, 300 subscribers, and yes, it could do with a few more zeros, but you know what, I don't care, that's, that's a bit nuts, <laughs> yes, I have reached 300 subscribers here on YouTube and the reason that this is so significant as some of you who regularly watch know, uh, way back when, I don't remember which stream it was precisely, but it was one of my perfect dark streams. Uh, a watcher named Hunter, oh rats, I forgot his name, I do apologise, be right back. Hunter Zolomon, that was the name. Sorry I forgot it. I, knew, I remembered the Hunter part, but not the Zolomon part. But yes, while doing one of my perfect dark streams, Hunter Zolomon suggested that if I reached 300 subscribers, I would try the game again on perfect age and difficulty. The moment has now arrived. So... Sometime during next week, that will begin. It will be the original, the Nintendo 64 version, on the hardest difficulty, which I've never done in my life, save for the first level. So, <laughs> this is going to be a bit... Ooh. And this is the other thing. I'm going to do it until I do it. It will be completed. I don't care how many streams it takes, I will finish that game on Perfect Agent. I can do it. I know I can do it within me. I just have to find every ounce of Perfect Dark skill I've ever had. Which is probably not that much, but there you go. So you've got that to look forward to. But... I also want to take the occasion to just say, once again, thank you to everyone for watching and encouraging me and just being kind of a rock in stormy seas at times. Um, I know the YouTube situation kind of sucks now, but you just, just got to ride the waves, you know, just got to ride the waves. and. I'm going to keep going because I wouldn't mind adding a few zeros to the end of this number. Indeed, I think I'd like to do that. My next goal is a thousand subscribers by the end of 2018. I think that is very realistic and can be done. And I'm looking forward to trying to get there and hope you guys will all be along for a ride. <laughs> Um, I'm also going to take the opportunity to give a few shout outs here, um, some to people I know, some to people I don't know, I just think that oh, we should go watch them and stuff, but it's not just to say you have a cool channel, it's just to say thanks for being there, you know. So without further ado, I will kick this off first. Mm -mm. Well, uh, the first one I think should actually be... Hunter Zolomon, yeah, the guy who started this little goal of 300 subscribers thing. Thanks for doing that, because it gave me something to sort of aim towards, you know, to keep going for that. I need the next one. Well, I've got a thousand subs, but maybe have one in between as well. So if anyone watching has an idea for that, please feel free to let me know. But thanks, Hunter. I remember you being around for a lot of the Perfect Dark stuff. I haven't seen you for a while, but that's okay. I hope you're doing well. And just 
Cheers. <laughs> Next is to a channel I've only just recently discovered. Some people have known longer than this. But uh, the name is Air Force Pro 95. And I have never had such a fun time watching Flight Simulator X videos before. If you don't know who he is, he uh, specialises in... He does a lot of multiplayer trolling videos on Flight Simulator X, showing off the wood weird and wonderful stupidity that goes on in FSX Steam Edition. Uh, the kicker is, he's actually a trained pilot in real life, so he actually knows what he's talking about. So, very funny stuff, and an all-round cool dude, so go check him out. Air Force Proud 95. The next shout-out goes to Kita Shinji who has been quite helpful towards me in the past. He helped me get my Discord sorted out, because I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah, <laughs> you just see the gears trying to turn in my head when, when I try to do things like that. I'm not like a complete tech illiterate, but I'm not like anywhere near godlike master level either. <laughs> oh no, HTML makes my brain hurt. But um, thank you very much, Keita, for your support. And... Um, he also plays a lot of Trove, if you know of that game. So if you like Trove, then you're going to be in the right place. So go give him a watch. Keita Shinji. Next is someone who has been my tech support guru, basically. He basically took it about himself to become that, in a way. It is Henk van der Linden, or Henky, as many of us in my Discord know him. Yes, um, he's been a super awesome dude, and has... Done a lot of interesting things for my channel, such as many streams that we've done together, nearly Sven Co-op that we did. That's been quite a fun one. Hopefully we're going to get back to it at some point this year. Um, we've got a couple of things cooked up. We're doing Left 4 Dead 2 tomorrow night, and eventually Minecraft in mo modded servers that he's put together. He's a, he's a, he's a, you know, I was talking about godlike technological status before. That's what... He basically is. <laughs> he knows things to do with a computer that I could only ever dream of. I thought I knew my way around computers and then Hank showed up, so... <laughs> Thanks for making me feel like a total amateur. Mm. Nah, it's all good, dude. It, it, he knows what he's doing as well. So if he says, this thing will run like that, this thing will not run like that, then you can pretty much um, trust his word on it. And he also... Uh, most notably, he has a Half-Life 2 deathmatch server called Bouncy Ball, and he runs quite a few fun events on there, so you should definitely go check that out if you would like to. I will leave a link in the description if that's okay with him. I'll check with him before I put this up. But yes, Henk van der Linden, top dude. This one may seem a bit random, but this person has been pretty helpful to me and many others in... A certain way. If you guys know of the term ASMR, I've mentioned it in a shout out before. I may even have shouted this person out before, I can't remember. But I'm talking about Softly Galoshes, who is one of the best ASMR artists, as they are known, that I've ever listened to. Um, if you know what ASMR is, go and look it up. It's, it's a way of relaxation, sort of similar to like mindfulness and that sort of thing. It Sometimes... It helps me to get to sleep, so that's why I listen to it. Or oh, a calm down about a really rubbish day. And Softly Galoshes is probably the best one there is. Um, she just has this way with a whispering that sort of really triggers it in me. And the SMR, if you don't get it, is basically like you get so different sounds or. Like things like whispers or noises done in your ears and it can trigger like a tingly reaction maybe usually at the base of your neck but some for some people it can be in other parts of the body as well and she does it perfectly and she has a lot of good videos to help you if you've got um mental health issues so her, her videos have been quite invaluable in helping me calm down and de-stress and get some sleep a lot so, if that sounds like something you need or would like, then go check her videos out, because she's really damn talented at it, so, softly galoshes. 
This next one is to a friend of mine that is gaming twenty four seven. Um, we've done a few videos together over on his ch his channel at times. He's done a couple, a few with me as well. He's a good dude. He's always quite encouraging towards me, and he's even spark me getting back into Yu Gi Oh as well, which is kind of nuts. We might be actually doing a video of some Yu-Gi-Oh, actual Yu-Gi-Oh jewels at some point, if we can figure that out, like real life ones with real life cards, because I do have them in real life, so that's something we might be doing together. He's also planning to do a Yu-Gi-Oh based channel in the near future, so if you're into Yu-Gi-Oh, you should give him a watch. He also plays quite a few games and has some quite funny uh, compilations up on his channel as well, so gaming 24-7. This next shout out is to a small indie developer. He's it's Project Wingman. I don't think that's his name. It's just the name of a game, obviously. But Project Wingman is a game I played on the channel way back, a couple yeah, a couple of years or so, and it is based on Ace Combat, which is why I mentioned it. I've been playing a lot of Ace Combat lately, and it's looking quite good. It's being developed on the Unreal Engine, so it looks great. It plays quite good from what I've seen. And it could be the next best thing to sort of Ace Combat on the PC. So you should definitely give that a look if that interests you at all. I don't think he's got loads of videos up. I haven't seen his channel for a while. But I'm looking forward to playing that game on the channel again once it's more updated. So Project Wingman. Next one is actually to a streamer. A fellow streamer-ish. Um, I haven't watched really watched her streams myself. I've seen her on YouTube but I've seen a lot of cool stuff about her on Twitter as well. I'm referring to Miss Aravel. I think I said it right. I hope I did. <laughs> but by all accounts she's pretty funny. She's not afraid to say what she thinks and she plays a lot of interesting stuff. I think she's been playing Stardew Valley lately if I remember seeing it. I'm going to have to try and catch one of her streams sometime. I really do need to do that because I'm bad. I'm bad at watching people's streams. I'm better at doing streams than watching them. Because <laughs> the problem is, I'm the kind of person who would rather play a game than watch it, but that's just me. That's just me. But uh, Arabelle's really cool, really nice. She's, she doesn't, she doesn't, she's not going to take anyone to mess with her around, but she's also a lovely lass as well, if you're not going to mess her up, that sort of thing. So, so there you go. Arabelle, go watch her. And I can't end this video without shouting out to two really cool people indeed. The first is the Redneck Gamer Triple Seven. Indeed, he's he's always sort of been around. He's what he's one of those people who've never quite got away. If that makes sense. <laughs> uh, we sort of just accidentally found each other on YouTube somehow. Like, I can I completely forget how now. I think you found Hard Drive, and that was it. That was it, yes, hard driving. <laughs> and um, he does a lot of interesting stuff. He not, he he doesn't so much let's play games, but he reviews them. He reviews a lot of videos as well. And he goes very in depth on the game's backgrounds, not not just about how the game plays, but the development of the game and any weird and wonderful things that happened involving the game and such. And he does also do film reviews. He's not afraid to be who he is, and he's an all round awesome person. He's given me a lot of encouragement as well over the last couple of years or so. So that's for you, right, Nick. Uh, go check him out, because the way he does things is pretty different to what you might expect. And last but not least, to my partner in crime, Mr. Obi Dadman. He's, well, he's kind of stuck around since the dawn of time, I think. <laughs> Aside from always being in a lot of my videos, he's also been pretty much my oldest friend in real life as well, so... Despite the fact that sometimes we clash, as good friends do, he's always willing to try new stuff with me, and... I think we, I think sometimes we do work well together as well. I, you guys have to be the judge of that. He's been trying to start streaming himself. He's not really used to it yet, but... I'm trying to encourage him to stand on his own two feet a little bit instead of just always being on my videos. I mean, it's nice, but he needs to get his own identity, so 
please go give her a bit of encouragement. I don't... I know he's he doesn't do things quite the same way I do, like he's got no face cam, but there's nothing wrong with that. Just help him find his own way in things. We'll be done, man. Cheers, bud. <laughs> and that's a wrap for that. Um, sorry if this is a bit longer than I meant it to be, but you know how it goes. I tend to waffle on a lot and try to fill empty space. <laughs> it's a streaming technique. But um, yes, 300 subscribers. Hopefully, there's going to be more of a nap by the time this year ends. Um, but one other thing I should say, and something that I've kind of been a bit guilty of, is I, I've kind of ignored Twitch followers, because I never saw Twitch as, like, my main thing. Just, it was always off to the side next to YouTube, but due to recent events, that may change. So from now on, I'm actually going to address my followers on Twitch as well. I do apologise for that. It's like I got this tunnel vision to do with YouTube, but it's it's all on me. I do apologise for that. So I'm actually going to tell you what my actual total subscriber follow count is right now. So the actual total of people who follow me are... It, it is actually 375. 301 on YouTube, 74 on Twitch. So... There you go. <laughs> I'm actually, I know uh, s some of them on Twitch are people who watch me on YouTube as well, but a lot of them aren't. So hopefully I'm going to get that number to go up as well. So, I, um, yeah. This is good. This is good. And I, I don't know what's going to happen with YouTube and or Twitch, but we'll just have to see how it goes. And I'm just going to... Try my best to keep on going, because I'm going to keep on going. I'm not going anyway. I'm reaffirming that again. I will be honest with you in the fact that if I didn't have the following that I have now, I probably would have stopped at this point, at the start of this year. Because if I didn't have you guys here to who wanted to watch my videos, then there wouldn't really be much point, would there? So... That's why I'm gonna keep going, just not just for my sake, but also for yours as well. Cause I have a feeling quite a lot of people would be disappointed if I stopped doing this. So not gonna be doing that. But anyway, this has gone on long enough. So thank, thanks all of you for watching me, supporting me, and just being there. And even if I didn't give you a shout out, thank you for being here. It's it makes all the difference, you know. <laughs> and anyway, that's it. Okay, shut up, Phoenix. You're talking too much. You said what you need to say. Now go! Go forth! That way, or that way. Whichever way suits me. I don't know. Or maybe that way. <laughs> Alright, guys. Cheers very much for watching. Keep your fire burning! And I'll see you guys at the next Minecraft.